All right, guys, so I just came over to Captain Jack's boat from testing System A all day, and one of the things we talked about with System A is the only weather service you can get is a paid subscription through Sirius. And that's a great way to get weather if that's your only option. On System A, that is the only option. But with Furuno, we came over to Captain Jack's boat because we not only offer Sirius weather service as well, we also offer a free non-subscription service as well from uh, Nav Center Weather. And uh, I came over to show Captain Jack exactly how to use this. We're sitting in the marina where he takes off from every day. It's actually the perfect place to connect the Wi-Fi and get that free weather download that only takes seconds to download. So what I want to do first, Captain Jack, is I'm yep. going to show you how to set it up. Okay. So before we get our first weather download, we're going to go into settings and scroll down to the weather page because I want you to tell me what you want to see. So out okay. of the box, we have wind, waves, cloud, rain and snow, pressure, and sea surface temperature automatically selected. That's our default settings. But when I was on some of the other boats with your other captains, they said they really wanted to have oceanic currents and altimetry as well. Is that something you're interested in? Yes, it is. The clouds on, don't need so much. Okay. But definitely wind I'd like, waves I like, rain or snow. Uh, like that's good to have for the rain. For the rain so portion, snow right. Here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Air temperature, you know, it, it's okay, but I feel how much, you know, I feel what that is. Sea surface temperature, ocean currents, and altimetry. Okay. Looks good to me. So once you got everything set up, you'll never have to go back in and do this again. This is what we're going to download every time we get a weather download at this Perfect. point. Okay? Let's check it out. Okay. So now that we're, right now we're sitting at just a regular chart pot plotter screen, we're going to press the home button and we have a dedicated weather page. It's this guy right here. So we'll just tap on it. And now the most important thing you need to know about the weather page is it's going to download weather for what you're looking at on the screen right now. So what we don't want to do is hit get weather data because right now we're only at a three, three and a half mile scale. Gotcha. Not much weather coming in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in, zoom out quite a bit. And let's say we go to, man, you got a lot of points. <laughs> and let's get rid of those points. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to clear it up for everybody. Okay, so now we're at 177 miles. So we're going to get weather for the 177 miles surrounding us. And we get that information by simply tapping on the screen and clicking on get latest weather. You're going to get a connection to the server on the screen. It takes about 10 to 20 seconds. We see it's preparing the weather file already. We see that the weather update's in progress. And in just a few seconds, we're going to have weather for that 180 mile area. So it's pretty much going to say zero the whole time. And then, and then the it just boom, minute, goes to 100. It's yeah. going to go to 100. <laughs> zero to 100. Zero to 100. There just you go. Like Done. So about 20 seconds. And the cool part is immediately you start seeing information on the screen. So no matter where we want to go, I mean, we see where the boat is in the center of the screen, but if we tap anywhere, and you can see where the weather cutoff is. So if we zoom out, this is the area of weather we just downloaded. And that's because we had that up in the screen. Absolutely. And that's, what, and that's what we Absolutely. Selected. If we wanted to get weather for the entire United States, we could have just zoomed in or zoomed awesome. out to the entire United States. But the cool part is, so we're looking at all this information. If we tap on the screen anywhere, we can get information about the area we just tapped in. So wind force and direction, wave heights, uh, wave periods, that's a lot of good information. Absolutely. Well, and also wind force too, because a lot of times we're in here and it can seem windy. Right. But you know what, especially like on a north wind, but a lot of times now we fish 20, 30, 40 miles in the swordfish grounds. The wind could be a lot less out there. And Absolutely. Knowing that, and knowing that information in advance is definitely an advantage we need. And the cool part is, Jack, is remember when we set up in the menu all the things we wanted to see? We don't have to flood the screen with all that information. We can select it right here on the weather page. So we simply look at the screen here, we scroll down, and we say weather data. We pop it up. This is all the information we set in the main menu. We wanted to download every time we download weather. Exactly. But if we don't want to have all that information on the screen, we don't have to, but we can. So we can turn Added on waves. waves. We can turn on, let's say, currents and altimetry. Okay. So now we have all that information on the screen as well. We'll just get rid of that and we'll start taking a look around. And we can see the direction of current flow. We can see where the changes take place. We have our wind vane, so we know what direction the wind's coming from. And we can also look for areas of upwelling and you know, basic altimetry information that I would imagine, uh, not being a full-time fisherman like you are, that's gotta be some good information. Oh, definitely, like knowing the currents and, and, and the way the, uh, the winds are going. Also, you know, the temperature breaks, that's a big thing to us. You know, we buy reports that actually tell us that. But having this free and available to us uh, from Furuno, that is a money saver, and it gives us the edge of knowing where the fish are. And the cool part about it is, Jack, it doesn't matter if you hook it to, so we can hook the TZT3 up to the hotspot on our cell phone, 
We can hook it to the Wi-Fi here at the marina. And like we saw, in 20 seconds, the weather's downloaded and we have it. The default is download weather for four days. You can download it once per day to keep it the most updated. Or, you know, if you're going on a trip, you can download it for up to 14 days. Awesome. So now once I have it downloaded here and I go offshore and I want to get a new reading, how do I do that? Once you're offshore, if you're too far offshore, you can't get a new reading unless you have a serious subscription. So remember, we have to have either a cellular connection. We've got to connect this unit to Wi-Fi to update the free weather data. Once that's done, you know, we can just use it until we get back to a spot where we can update it again. So all I really need, though, is cell phone service with the hotspot. Absolutely. That really is all you need. And That's so great. if you're only three miles off the coast, I mean, we've been out, you know, three miles pretty much all day today, and I still had good cell phone service. Yes. I mean, actually, I get service a lot of times 10 to 12 to 15 miles out. So, you know, finding that Gulfstream, the inside, shouldn't be an issue for me at all. Right. I wouldn't think so. And the other cool part I like about this, if you just want to see what the weather's going to do throughout the day, you can either drag your finger along the bar and just watch changes take place, see what the wind vanes are doing. That's awesome. Or we can also animate it and just let it play through and sit here and watch what's going to happen. So Tim, how often is this updated? Well, Jack, you know, it's, it's interesting. Nav Center weather is updated on a 12 or 24 hour increment schedule. So say for instance, you're leaving here early in the morning, let's say you leave at 6 a.m. If you were to go out there and be offshore at noon and you tried to update it again, you're gonna get the same information because it won't then again be updated until 6 p.m. that night. So as long as what you're doing as a fishing boat captain is updating it while you're here in the marina every morning before you leave, you're gonna have the most current information. And the other cool thing about this Nav Center weather software is it's available anywhere in the world. If you have a serious subscription, you know, that's a US based uh, company and just the satellites are above us. If you're over in, you know, Europe or Asia or anywhere like that, you can't ha access serious weather. But this Nav Center weather does work there. That's awesome, man. Worldwide. Worldwide. All four systems are able to utilize the Sirius XM subscription based marine weather with an add on module. However, TC Touch 3 is the only system that offers a built in free weather service that not only offers weather for North America, but worldwide. Coming up next is the radar shootout. And let me tell you, we put them through their paces. Using the solid state domes, we see how they handle short range and long range performance. We look at bird detection and a whole lot more. If radar performance is important to you, you're gonna to wanna to see these test results. So make sure you tune in and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the bell below to get notifications for the next time we release new videos. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.